my, my focus is psychology and religion. Oh, and religion? They have religion classes? You're taller. I got They have a religious studies uh, department. But... Okay. Let's do this. And what's your name? Uh, Angela Cummings. Okay. Thank you, Angela. My name is Tommy Coleman. Thanks for agreeing to do this. I was just wondering. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder what brought you out here today. Uh, well, I was born and raised in Chattanooga, Tennessee. My father used to be a, a professor here. And, uh, you know, this is my hometown. I travel to the Gospel on college campuses and around, uh, around America. Um, what, uh, what brought you here? The Holy Spirit uh, works in people's hearts, and uh, that Jesus Christ is exalted. I, I, I hope that everybody will come to Christ and give their life to Jesus and, and become a follower, you know, a disciple. Not just a believer, but a disciple. Big difference. And is, uh, I also have some more, I guess, uh, theologically oriented questions here on the so Who is the user that's okay as well? Oh, okay, I'll try. <laughs> what a uh, John 14, 6 says, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. Speaking of his blood that was shed. Because you got to have an atonement for your sins before you can come before a holy God. And Jesus is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Sin separates us from God. Jesus died on the cross, rose again to purchase us with his blood and bring us back to Christ. So, yes, that's, that's the reason why he is the only way. What, what would you do? Out surf here. Now, to figure out where to go, would it be all right if I stood right there? How about you, dog? You might Just to stay down. Be better with you. Oh, you want me to stay down? I'm so short. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see what I got here. Oh, you can record. What is the... What was that sh for? Adopted. I was born and raised in uh, this city. Do you have a tattoo? I have two tattoos. Uh, and, uh, I did that 13 years ago. See, right off the bat, you want to discount me somehow so you can be comfortable in your sin. What? This is Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't want you comfortable in your sin. We don't want that's to that's what an evangelist does. An evangelist uh, makes the comfortable people uncomfortable. That's part of the calling. If you're comfortable in your sin, then you're probably not living for Jesus Christ. Now, I'm here to declare that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through Him. Now, what does that mean? There are some serious bees out there. I've my purpose. It's from the devil. Uh, You're getting the devil out of you. Uh, no. Uh, I think bees are attracted to the hunt. So I'm uh, All hail the king of the Jews. 
All right. So, what does it mean that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven? What does that mean? Now, I used to live in Hollywood. Okay, I worked a few TV shows. I uh, got paid eight dollars an hour to clap. And uh, I thought a lot about the red carpet, which famous people walk across. And I served the most famous man that ever lived, Jesus Christ. And the way I look at it is, there is a red carpet that leads to God the Father. And if you want to get to heaven, you must walk across the red carpet. The red carpet symbolizes the blood of Jesus. Jesus shed his blood, and the Bible says, uh, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. The only way you can be saved is if you cry out to God, and you say, God, I have broken your law. God, I have sinned against you and you alone. Forgive me of my transgressing your law. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for me. I believe that you arose again, that you were seen by many. Jesus, be the Lord and Savior of my life. I submit my will to you. And that's what God is looking for. He's looking for people that will give their hearts to Jesus. Forsake everything. Come to Jesus Christ and live for Him. Live for Him. A lot of people uh, go to church in the South, but they don't live for God. They still live for the world. And the Bible says in Revelation 3, if you were lukewarm, Jesus will vomit you out of his mouth. Can you find that in the